Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rake and as you can tell, we are in a main menu. That is because today we are starting a brand new Let's Play for the 1.17 update. Because as you all know, a lot of us have been waiting for this forever and it's finally out. So I am so glad to be doing a Let's Play on this. So I'm not going to be doing a hardcore though, it's just going to be a normal survival. So we're going to leave it on hard, uh, more options. Um... I don't know. Uh, what do we want? Uh, loot. <laughs> Diamonds with two M's. I didn't want to do that. There we go. All right. So hopefully we can get a bunch of diamonds pretty soon. Uh, i got a good little base design in mind. So let's just hop right into the world, shall we? So I am looking really, really forward to this. I bet you lot are as well, uh, especially for the second part. The second part's going to be so, so good. Uh, but for now, all we got really is the animals and all the blocks in the game. We just don't have the cave generations yet or um, the mountains. But yeah, we do have the animals, so we'll be able to get some axolotls. So we're going to have to find a name for one of them if we eventually find one. And we spawn in a jungle. That is not quite what I wanted, like spawn. I guess we can get some bamboo to start with, though, which is awesome. So let's grab some of that. Uh, I want to get out of here as soon as possible, though. I do not want to live in a jungle because this update is a bit laggy. And I've got a feeling that if we stay in this jungle, it's just going to be the worst situation possible. So I'm just going to grab a few pumpkins here. Not pumpkins, sorry, watermelons. Uh, because it's summer. <laughs> so everyone loves watermelons in the summer. Oh, look, there's some sheep right here as well. This is perfect. We can get a bed going as soon as possible. I don't know how long it's going to take to kill them with my fist, though. Oh, it's not too long. Okay, let's get a few of these. There we go. Sorry, sir. I am sorry for killing you and your family. Oh, I was going to say, what is that? But it's a parrot. <laughs> there we go. Come on, come here, you. It's good to have some bamboo, though, from the start, because we can get some scaffolding going pretty soon, which is awesome. Uh, should we climb up a, t a tree, maybe? Try to find the treetops and... Well, try to find. I mean, try to find a way out. Or actually, let's just run in one direction. We're just going to run straight over here and hope that we can eventually get out of here. Because I do not want to live in a jungle. This is not the, the series for a jungle. We're not going to find any animals here that we want. We want to find some goats. I want to find some glow squids. And hopefully we can also find an axolotl. Alright, before we keep going though, we're going to try to get some wood. Oh, actually what would be awesome is if we got some vines as well. Because the base design that I want to do is going to require a few vines just for some decoration. Alright, I'm grabbing a bunch of seeds to, in the hopes to get a parrot. I think that would be really awesome if we can get a parrot right from the start. Then we have a, a new friend that will follow us on our little adventure here. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. We, we've just barely gone somewhere. Oh, there's a parrot there as well. And we found a temple. I rarely find these. I find them so rare to find. But unfortunately, the loot isn't the best in these things. But maybe this time we'll be lucky. Oh, it's on this side. Uh, let's go here. There we go. Dodge the arrow. Grab that. Got some arrows for ourselves. There we go. Get that arrow as well. And we got one piece of iron. Yay. Alright, uh, we need to make a pickaxe though so we can go to the other area over here. Sorry that it's so dark. Let me just go up here whilst we craft. So yeah, we're going to craft a pickaxe. Uh, get some sticks. There we go. Craft ourselves a pickaxe. And we're going to go and mine for the loot. I hate doing this puzzle so we're just going to avoid the puzzle. There we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. The luck. Look at that. I, I guess saying diamonds in the seed worked because we got enough for a pickaxe already. I've never found good loot in these. This is the first time I've had such good loot. This is awesome. Alright, let's grab the pistons as well. Awesome. And we're going to go and grab the dispensers because they're a pain to craft. So let's grab these. There we go. One and two. I'm going to craft ourselves a bed as well just so we're ready. Um, what else can we craft? Uh, we might want to get some cobblestone quickly. Uh, dang it. I wish we had one bit of iron though. One more bit. So then we can get some vines. Um, alright, well, let's just craft, or well, break this, and we're going to leave. And hope to get a parrot friend here. Where are you, parrots? Which one should we get? The green one or the blue one? The blue one looks really cool. Oh, I want them both though. Come on. Yay, we got our friend. Look at that. We got a parrot. Let's go try to get the, the green one as well. Maybe it might be lucky. We might want a few more seeds. Let's grab some seeds. There we go. Sometimes they take so many seeds as well to tame these guys. Oh, it's you. 
I thought there was a zombie next to me. Well, there is somewhere, but not too close. Right, come here. Come here, buddy. Where are you? Are you trying to escape? You're just here. All right. Here you go, buddy. Come on, be my friend. Oh, the last seed. That is perfect. Awesome. All right. So we're going to try to get out of here. Oh, actually, there's a cave right here. So we might go into that quickly just to get some iron. And there's a sapling. I'm just going to grab that. There we go. All right. So we got some iron right here. Uh, we're going to get a stone pickaxe going because we don't want to use this wooden one anymore. And then we're going to go collect all the iron. I don't want to look at that enderman, though, because that would be terrible if we done that. There we go. And let's get some iron. I don't have a weapon. There we go. We killed our first mob, but with a pickaxe. <laughs> I don't think I've done that in a while. Killing my first mob with a pickaxe. All right, so we're going to grab this coal. Gonna smelt up some iron, get some tools going, and then we're gonna head out of the jungle. I'm actually gonna craft myself a shield as well with the one piece of iron that we have. There we go. Oh, I almost looked at the enderman. That would have been terrible. Uh, there's copper right there. I'm not looking for copper right now. I just want some iron. I don't want to go too deep into the caves either. Uh, any iron? Wait, there was some just here, wasn't there? Where we killed that that zombie. All right, there's a bunch here. Let's grab all of this. There we go. Alright, so we've got some iron. Oh, hang on a second. I just realised. Look at that. we got both parrots on my shoulders. <laughs> I didn't know you could get both on the, on your shoulders. I thought it was only one. So if I jump there, they're going to keep... Oh, they're still on me. Alright. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab some vines here. I need one a few. Just so we can use them for a build later on. Uh, let's grab some more here. There we go. And there we go. Alright, so I'm going to collect my iron and then we're going to leave and try to find a different bio. Alright, it's about to be night time as well, so we're going to have to plonk our bed down and go to sleep pretty soon. I want to get away from these caves though because I've got a feeling the monsters inside are not going to allow me to sleep. Um, okay, looks like there's an ocean here as well. That is awesome. That means we can just go in one direction now and hope ouch, to make our way home. Or to our new home. Okay, well this is going to be a problem. My parrots are not following me. They're just staying over there for some reason. I wonder if they could sit on my shoulders whilst we are in the boat. There's one. Let's go get the other one, though. Why is he not coming? Come on, guys. Okay, you can. That is good. All right, so you can stay on my shoulders. Let's go get the other one over here that is stuck in the water. They're just having a little swim, it looks like. Come here, Gary. Go on, jump on. There we go. All right, we got them both on our shoulders, and now we can go on a little adventure. Um, over there to the left, there's another jungle, so we're not going to go there. This jungle seems huge, to be honest. So hopefully we could go this way. And I want to find a spruce forest, really, would be, would be the best. Next to a mountain biome, because I want to... Wait, is that... Oh, no, I thought that was another jungle for a second. Uh, yeah, because I want a mountain biome close by so that we can get some goats as well. Oh, there is a water temple there. Oh, and there's um, a frozen ocean. Wait, what? Oh, and a swamp. Okay. This is a <laughs> very weird seed. There's a lot of biomes all around us. So if you guys do have any um, like suggestions on what to do in this world, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying the content. It helps out a lot. And it also lets me know that you do enjoy the videos. Oh, oh there we go. Look at that. We've got a spruce forest right here. Uh, that was not far at all. And I just saw something because oh, there is a uh, portal down there. Um, guys, I'm going to have to go underwater. I don't know if you're going to follow me. No, you won't. There we go. That is a lot of obsidian. Fortune 2 golden axe. Oh, pickaxe, sorry. But that's going to work for, um, for like, iron and stuff. Come on, guys. Um, there's a plains over there. Well, not a plains, sorry, a forest. Actually, there's a little bit of a plains. Okay, this this is a... Oh, that scared me. That uh, creeper sound. <laughs> Even though we're in a boat, it still scared me. Uh, can we go fit through there? I think we might be able to. We should be. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we found this cool little lake, actually. It's pretty nice. Uh, what else is around here? Let's look for a village. There might be a village close by. Uh, I'll grab that. There we go. Thank you. All right, guys. Come on. Follow me. You can teleport to me? Yeah, good. All right. Uh, anything around here? Hello, Mr. Horsey. How are you doing today? Look at you. You guys look beautiful. I really like the, this color of horse. There is a lava lake right there. How much obsidian do we get? Six. All right, that is awesome. Um, anything else around? Doesn't look like it. So it looks like we could live in the spruce forest. I kind of want to see if there's a mountain biome close by, though. That would be perfect if there was. 
Anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. It looks like we're going to have to go mining though straight away because I want a bunch of iron. And also I want to try to find an axolotl because I think the only way you can find them is underground. On my live stream I found it in a ravine that just came out of a one block water source. So if you're lucky I think they can just spawn. Oh there's a dark oak as well. Alright, um, it doesn't look the best though because it looks like it's quite small this uh, spruce forest. But it looks like it might, might do. Well, let's go see. I don't want to be able to see the um, swamp. That's uh, that's the main goal. We can find a nice little flat area. It looks like here is actually pretty nice. Anything else around here? Oh, there's a nice little hill here. I, I'm, I'm kind of liking this area. It's not big enough though to build. So maybe just down in the valley there. Or down here actually to the right. Looks quite flat. Yeah, down there looks really flat. That might be a potential spot right there. Uh, anything else? I saw there was a, like, a little tiny opening through here. Let's go check that out. Oh, I'm starting to get really hungry here. Yeah, look. Look at this little opening. It looks really cool. It could be like a little gateway. I think I might have to live here. Uh, anything else? Yeah, you come through here. And then you go to the swamp biome. Uh, do you know what? I kind of like this. I kind of like it because it's hidden from this big hill. Yeah, if we want to get some slimes and all that, we can. And yeah, that, that looks awesome. I'm kind of liking this spot. Come here, we'll have like a little gateway. Then we'll have our, our main house here somewhere. Yeah, I think that is that is good. And we've got a nice big cave as well. That goes down quite far, actually. Alright, so yeah, we're going to set up uh, our little camp over here. I'm going to get some chests going. Let's do it over here. Going to get some chests going. And I'll get back to you guys once we are uh, situated. Alright, so as you can tell, I have chopped down a few trees. I got over a stack, I think it like a stack and 40 logs, which is awesome. With one axe, actually, only one. So, oh, no, sorry, a stack and 20 logs. Um, so, yeah, now we're going to go and go mining, actually, because we want some iron to get um, some protection going. And also, I want to actually make a mine after we've gone through that cave, just so I could get a bunch of cobblestone to smell up for some stone bricks, so that we can build our starter house. So... I think I want to fill this area up as well with some dirt and maybe terraform this down a little bit. I don't, I don't want to do too much terraforming because it's going to take too long, especially with stone tools. But talking about tools, actually, we're going to use... Actually, let's, let's smelt this up as well. Uh, there you go. Let's burn that. Um, put that in there. There we go. Put our pickaxe in there. And we're going to make our first diamond pickaxe already. So look at that. Boom. Diamond pickaxe. We haven't even got a, got a iron pickaxe yet. So we're going to use this one up first. Uh, put that away and I want to use this on the iron because it's fortune 2 now with the new mechanics or the new ores that they drop Well, it's raw items now you can actually use fortune on it and you can get more so that is awesome So hopefully we can get a bunch of iron with this golden pickaxe Actually to be fair I have no idea if gold actually works on iron because I never use these so we're gonna find out together I guess um, What else do we have we got a shield got some sticks. We do not need this or this we might want to take these with us. Uh, anything else? I guess we can start making a bit of armor. So there. And that's all we can do. So we've got a helmet. Look at us. Our head is protected. Our little cherry on top there is protected. So now we can grab our two little pieces of mutton here. Actually, I'm going to smelt up all of this. Uh, take it with us because we do not have a lot of food. So yeah, all right. So I'll go grab a bit of coal as well. There we go. And yeah, we're going to head down into the mines. Hope to not die. Let me re oh, respawn point is set. We've already spent a night, but just wanted to make sure. So yeah, I'm going to take my food and I'll get back to you guys if we find something cool. Okay, I can hear a lot of zombies already. And we just got into the cave. Is there going to be a spawner right here? This... Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. Okay, I swear on my life, I did not script this at all. This is a... Well, you guys saw me the seed, the seed that I put in. Is that the actual seed? Or... Oh, no, that is the seed. There you go, guys. All right. <laughs> so we found a zombie spawner right next to our house. Look at that. That is awesome. Um, I, I want to kill the zombies, though. Wait, are they spawning outside, or...? Oh, no, there they are. Hey, guys. Wait, you are spawning outside of the spawner. There's a baby zombie somewhere. I don't know where he is. I can hear him behind me. I think he's underneath me down there. Yeah, yeah, he's underneath me. Can he get up, though? 
You're not very smart, are you? <laughs> Alright, so we got a zombie spawner at the surface, which is probably one of the best things possible. And now we'll be able to have an XP farm. That is awesome. That, is, that could probably like even land right into our house. Alright, what's in the chest? Okay, not the best. And not the best either. But I am not complaining. A zombie spawner is good enough. Uh, hopefully there's not too many more zombies here. Oh no, they're spawning underneath. Okay. Alright, so let's test out this golden pickaxe to see if we get double. Okay. Yep, uh, just like I thought. <laughs> I wasn't too sure, but I didn't think it would work. No, my gold. Oh, iron, I mean. But does it work on coal? It does. And are we getting double? We are... Eight. Nine. Eleven. All right, we are, we are. All right, we're going to use it on the cold in, I guess. That's the only thing we can use it on. Okay, so I know what my plans are for next episode. <laughs> Get an XP farm going. Oh, my goodness. And we got a mine shaft right here. Guys, I think with the new update, though, mine shafts are spawning so... Well, okay, so common now. It's like they're so common. Can I reach that? I cannot. Maybe if I go down one more. There we go. Can't reach it. Alright. What's in here? A multi-shot book. Ooh, fancy. I never use crossbows, so maybe at one point I can actually get a crossbow and use it. But yeah, um, I think mine shafts are really common now. Because even in my other Let's Play on the um, live stream, we found like every time we went mining, we'd find a mine shaft. Uh, and there goes our golden pickaxe, but we managed to get quite a bit of coal with it though. Um, it's good. Well, it was free, so I'm not going to complain. Hopefully, we can get a bunch more coal, and I want to get a bunch of XP as well. We're going to have to start on a cow farm as well, as soon as we go to the surface. Oh, if you're wondering what that was, is me pressing on my Optifine button by accident. It's on my mouse, so sometimes I accidentally press it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to keep mining. Uh, I'll get back to you guys if we find, like, another chest or something, or maybe some diamonds. But yeah, this is, I'm just doing a bit of casual, oh, casual farming, and there is a ravine here. With some gold. Wait, what level are we on? 33 already. Okay, wow. Alright, so down there must be like, I don't know, level 20 something. Oh, don't get stuck in there. There we go. Alright, so what's in here? Oh my goodness. Two diamonds. Okay. The luck on this seed is already insane. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I am, I'm just like speechless, to be honest. I swear that this 1.17 update is just bringing such good luck to me right now in my Let's Plays. And I'd also like to thank you guys so much for the support recently, like uh, yesterday, no, the day before yesterday, we'd done a live stream and we uh, completely obliterated our our record for likes on a stream. Our record used to be like 500 and something, I'm pretty sure, and we went up to 900 in that one stream. So that was insane. So thank you guys so much for the support on that. Oh, some gold, look at that. Am I the only one that thinks gold looks way better than all the other ores now? Oh my goodness, look at all this iron. <laughs> that is a lot of iron. If we had a fortune big axe, that would be insane right now. Oh, another chest. Nice. What's in here? Oh, a name tag. Perfect. That is awesome. So if we do get an axolotl, we can actually name it. Oh, <gasps> yes! No! You shall not take my friend away from me. Oh, look at that poor little guy. He's so cute. Look at him. Alright, I need to make a bucket. Um, Alright, let's, let's, let's make a bucket. Let's go in here quickly. Oh, I didn't even realise I already had some iron on me. Let's go collect them quickly. We need some water though. Oh, there's water right there. There we go. Look at him. Hey. The cutest predator. Yeah, that is true. Look at him. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. I don't even want to mine anymore. I just want to go home. <laughs> that was awesome. I wasn't expecting us to find one, to be honest. So they spoil little pools like this as well then. Does it, like, change the biome here or something? Tiger heels? No. Alright. Oh, yes! Another one. Come here. There we go. We got another one, guys. Alright, we got two axolotls. That is awesome. I was going to say, I'm not having too much luck finding diamonds, but I guess we got some axolotls, so it's probably better. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we're, we're actually going to head home now. Okay, it is night time, and I just came out of the water here. Oh, oh look at that. That is our entrance. But there is a abandoned portal right here, and I did not know that. Wait, there's stone? They have stone on them now? I thought it was always never, never wreck. Oh, it's a good block of gold. Uh, do I have any inventory space? I do not. There we go. I did, never knew that there was stone that spawned at these. Oh, 
Did I make a chest plate? I did not know. All right. Let's wear that for now. There we go. Look at me. Go fancy some more obsidian as well, which I cannot take. Um, I need everything pretty much in here. Well, I guess I don't need that. And that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. All right. Let's head home, which is extremely close by, actually. So we're very lucky. Um, and as soon as we get back home, I might have to go mining a bit off camera. Uh, strip mining, of course, not um, actual mining. Because we need a bunch, and a bu when I mean a bunch, I mean a lot of cobblestone because I want to smelt it up and get some stone bricks with that. And then eventually we can start on our house. Are you kidding me? Guys, there is a second spawner. My, um, do you know what? I'm going to run away, try to get those creepers to despawn. Then we're going to go back and light it up. I don't want to risk it blowing up. All right, so what is in this chest? Oh, two name tags. All right, that is awesome. Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to be using this one, though, uh, because it's kind of deeper than the other one. Is it, Can I, like, eat? Or can I heal one of them? Are we, like, gone into ultra hardcore all of a sudden? Um, okay, that is weird. Let me reconnect and, and join back. All right, so I have been mining for a long time now. My pickaxe is almost broken. But we do have quite a lot of stone and cobblestone. The reason why I have stone, by the way, is... Uh, let me show you. I have some furnaces down here that have been smelting the whole time. I've been finding quite a lot of coal, so... That is pretty awesome, so I didn't have to spend too much time uh, actually go looking for coal. But look, as you can tell, there's still some in my stairway here. And it is nighttime out there. That is not good. But yeah, so now I'm going to sleep away the night. Alright, yeah, I'm going to terraform this area here. Just uh, make this flat here a little bit more and fill up this area right here. Okay, so we should have a decent amount of room here. Uh, I want a nice window, so actually we're going to bring that out quite a bit. So we'll have that there. Oh, that there. Yeah, that'll do. All right, that is perfect. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll bring this along like so. Is that going to be big enough? Uh, yeah, I think it should be. I think it should be. If not, we'll just uh, make it a little bit larger later on. So we've got a nice big window there. Here we're going to have a terrace, like so. There we go. Uh, actually, I want to bring it out one more. Oh, there we go. Break that. Okay, so this is the shape we're going for. Yeah, that is looking awesome. I'm liking that quite a bit. We can actually even make it a little bit taller maybe at one point. I need to get rid of this tree as well. It's really in my way. And I need to get food set up as well. Actually, let me go. I'm going to go check on my farm as well off camera. But for now, this is looking good. Here is going to be the entrance, and I want kind of a big entrance, and I'm thinking also doing like kind of a, like a nice archway, so like so. There we go. As you can tell, we're not using the same blocks as we normally would, which is uh, kind of a good thing, I think. It's a, it's a good thing to change from time to time. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. That is going to look magnificent. I've got a good feeling about this. There we go. We're going to mix in some other blocked um, types as well inside this so it's not just stone brick because it's going to look hideous if it was just so stone brick. So from here actually we're going to make that bigger because it looks kind of silly. Uh, bring this up. There we go. What about now? How's that look? Is that a little bit better? Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright, so I've pretty much finished the, the shell here of the build. So now we're going to add a little bit of detailing. Actually, let's do the roof first. If we start on with the roof, it might look a lot nicer. So there's a bit of colour in there. And luckily, at the start, we actually did farm up a lot of spruce. So we're going to make a bunch of stairs here. We're not going to do a complicated roof. It's going to be a nice and simple and easy one. So if you want to follow along with this build... You can. It should be quite easy. I'm not doing too much off camera. I'm doing a little bit, of course, because I don't want to make it boring for you guys. It's not meant to be a build tutorial. It's meant to be a let's play after all. So now I'm going to fill up the sides here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to add some slabs here on top. That should look pretty good, I'm hoping. Because I like the little detail. Oh, not like that. I like the little detail of the bricks sticking out there. And then we're going to add some walls on top of that as well. And go across like so. There we go. So I kind of built this uh, off some pictures that I saw on the internet. And also I went in a creative world, but I completely messed it up. So when I think of it, this is nowhere near the same. But it is looking good. I am very pleased with this. Uh, we can actually start now on building that little porch there. So we're going to need a bit more wood. We've actually gone through a lot of the wood. Um, all right. Across. So all the way across. Just to the other side. One and two. And now, actually, let's place some more here quickly, just so I can place my trap doors. So we're going to place a trap door, like so, all the way across. And now we can break these. 
There we go. And it should look pretty decent. I'm hoping anyway. Break that. There we go. Alright. How is it looking? Alright, yeah, it's looking good. I'm very pleased with that. And the reason why I wanted the vines is so we can add them onto the walls as well. And that actually what is good, we can get some mossy cobble as well. Add some of that into there. Maybe some andesite. I did collect a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this for the moment. It is looking really good. Alright, so as you can tell, I've added a bit of texture to the build. So I've added, mixed in a few little blocks. So some cobble. We got some uh, polished andesite, some normal andesite. There's not a lot of that actually. A bit of the mossy, not too much though, because it does give a lot of like detailing. So now what I want to do is work a bit on the inside. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have enough blocks. Actually, we can use some of this. I want to make like a kitchen area where it's going to, I want to use some of these new blocks. So let's do that. Um, I want to use this, the tiles. Yeah, they look really nice. Uh, I went, uh, well, I used them in my uh, let's play on my live stream and I really enjoyed it so this is like going to be like the kitchen area right here and so I'm going to have our furnaces and stuff like that here and then the rest here will be wood so hopefully we can actually do we have enough of these oh, I don't think we do all right I want to make a entrance way like this so do that so now we can place some more of these there we go one two three so I'll have to think of what to do here on this side uh I think we could actually use just some pillars maybe but for now how does that look yeah, that looks good. I really like that entrance. It's a bit different, but it looks nice. I, I really like it. I'm, I'm really liking this build, actually. What we can do is actually add some fences on top of walls. So have we got any bricks we do? Let's go up to the roof. Uh, I did leave this little way up here, so it's pretty easy. So place them there, like so. Just give a bit more detail to the roof. There we go. Oh, we're not going to have enough. Never mind. All right. One, two, three, and four. So we need three more. One, two, three. Yes. All right, let's get down here quickly. All right. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I'm really like... Actually, that does add quite a bit of detailing. That does. I'm, I'm really pleased with that. We might actually make those windows a little touch bigger. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, yeah, the build is coming along great. I'm really liking this house. Unfortunately, we don't have any shaders right now. For some reason, they're not working. Like, if I go to my options, video settings, yeah, the shaders for some reason is not working. Maybe I need to try to find some newer versions or some 1.17 versions. But yeah, so this is looking really good. Um, I think actually for now, we're just going to use some spruce planks as the flooring in here. So I'm going to fill all of this up. There we go. And after this, I'm going to go... Oh, you need to move out of the way, buddy. The parrots like to get in the way. <laughs> but yeah, I want to go get some sand. And then we're pretty much going to end the episode there, I think. So we, we've done quite a bit this episode. We, we've got a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of mining. We've also discovered a bunch of cool stuff in this world. But yeah, so next episode, we're going to do a bit of decoration on the inside, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this. This is looking really, really good. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. I managed to put some windows in. I've made this one larger. So you guys in the comments are going to have to let me know what you think, which one is better. So we got the big, large window here, like so. Let me go to the side a little bit. Maybe we can stain them or something next time. So yeah, we've got the large one here or the little one like this. So let me know what you think. Which one is better, the little one or the large one? So we've done decorations all around as well. Don't worry. I don't need to get rid of these leaves. There we go. So yeah, let me know what you think. Which one is better, the large window or the small windows? Anyway, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to what you think about the windows in the comment section below. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Peace.